Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The Beauty of Being Alone. Yeah. You are a man of your word. I will give you that. Yeah, which part? Because you're not dead yet. You don't give up. A long time ago, I learned something very important. In our business, there's not a lot of difference between people who win and people who lose. It's not about opportunity or vision or grit. No. The ones who win are the ones who suss people up right and suss people up fast. Interesting. My father told me much the same. Well, then you should listen back. Also, this clip is a clip from the Netflix series called Bad Blood. You were dead wrong about me. No, I was right about you. But I misjudged our family. You did not? Most people will protect that one thing they love more than themselves. It's just knowing what that is. I don't think it's what people love the most. I think it's what people need. What do you think that is for me? You care less. Well, let me tell you what I think that is for you. For a moment, I thought it was Reggie, but it's not. More than anything, what you need is independence. Your true self exists. When you are alone. It's why you are so good at what you do. It's sad. But it's um, quite beautiful. And that's the point. You know, now, we understand that this truth is a team effort. You know, and the elected members make up the body of Yahweh Shai. But at the same time frame, you know, we have to be alone as well. You know, and when you are alone, you're supposed to be meditating, you know, um, praying for Esau's downfall, praying for your Akim, as well as for yourself, for your families, and so on and so forth. Praying for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shai. You know, praying for more faith and more fear to have for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh as well as giving you strength to endure afflictions, tribulations, and trials. Okay? Being able to endure constantly and have patience and always, always haste the day. You know, through our alone time, you know, this will assist us to work out our own salvation as well. You know, now we know, you know, of course, uh, we have to fellowship, which is extremely, extremely important. But the balance of that is, you know, be productive in your alone time. All right. Kobe Bryant was a great basketball player. Okay. But the most I gave him that mentality to do so. So although he had a skill, but the most I gave him, you know, that personality to be that killer. So during his off season, he would shoot 2,500 times. And, you know, as he got older, he perfected or he wanted to perfect his jump shot. So the 2,500 times um, shots a day went to 5,000. And he would lift weights and he would also um, run eight miles um, per day. All right. And he said that he didn't jump the highest. He wasn't the fastest. 
So he had to put in more work, you know. So although the Most High gave us this raw talent to be called, Lord willing, we are the elect. But at the same time frame, you know, we have to exhaust our spiritual gifts. We have to continue to build ourselves up by watching the videos of the apostles and as well as ongoing reading and praying and fasting, okay? Luke 9 and 12. And when the day began to wear away, then came the 12 and said unto him, referring to Yahweh, send the multitude away that they may go into the towns and country round about and lodge and get victuals. For we are here in a desert, desert place. Verse 13. But he said unto them, give ye them to eat. And they said, we have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we shall go and buy meat for all this people. For they were about 5,000 men. And he said to his disciples, make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and break and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude, and they did eat, and were all filled. And there was taken up a fragment that remained to them twelve baskets. All right. So at this time frame, Yahweh manipulated the elements. Okay, and the reason why the loaves and the fishes were multiplied is because he used spiritual power and this source of power was granted to him from his father Yahweh all right verse 17 and they did eat and were all filled and there was taken up a fragment that remained to them 12 baskets And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? All right. And that's the point. Okay. Verse 18, Yahweh Shah was alone praying. Okay. He was alone. You know. And what was he, what was he doing when he was alone? He was praying. To the Most High, His source, which is our source, okay, to be able to endure. All right. First Corinthians 7 and 7. For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man have his proper gift of the Most High, one after this manner and another after that manner. All right. Now, if you know anything about Apostle Paul, he did not deal with women. Okay. All right. His focus, all right, was to magnify his office okay he was about his father's business such as Yahweh Shai verse 8 I say therefore to the unmarried and widows it is good for them if they abide even as I when you go into that term unmarried in the Greek it means single okay 
when you go into the origin of single, it means simple. All right. Meaning that when you are alone, okay, there there are less distractions. Okay. So it's extremely important, you know, to understand the beauty of being alone. But of course, you must have a balance in that. All right. Let's jump down to 32. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Okay? That's why Apostle Paul was stating in verse 8, I say therefore to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. Because if you're unmarried, you're single. And single means simple, less distractions. Okay? And 32 explains the importance. He that is unmarried, care for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Verse 33, but he that is married, care for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. So the balance of this lesson is basically enjoy your alone time which is um, another term for it, solitude, okay? And utilize it, you know, as well as to get rest, to build yourself up in the faith, you know? Philippians 3 and 8, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but the loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach Yahweh Shah, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win my shiach. When we focus on excellency in the Greek, Strong's G 5242, Huper Echo, Huper Echo. All right. Two way to be above, be superior in rank. Authority, power, to, to no, like you, the prominent men and prominent prominent means important. All right, to excel, to be superior, better than, to surpass, to surpass. Okay, so Apostle Paul utilized his time being alone. Okay, and what did the scripture say? 1 Corinthians 7 and 32. He that is unmarried, careth for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. So when Yahweh was alone, he prayed. And through prayer, he constantly built himself up. And another reason why Apostle Paul surpassed or excelled and became a prominent man, a prominent man in the faith is because he utilized his alone time. Both individuals were productive. You know? All right. So we supposed to be like our big brother, Yahweh Shah, which is our redeemer. Okay. I think that's Corinthians. Slakia. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, this is a quick clip from above the rim. Now, this is Tupac talking to Dwayne Martin. And watch what Tupac tells him about being alone.
show you around the club. How many brothers and sisters you got? Just me and my mom. Hmm? Being alone makes you strong. You and me a lot of life that way. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.